Hello and welcome to Boots and All the Tries. All of the action from seven rounds of Super League, all in one fabulous city, Edinburgh. So where should we start? Well, why not right at the very beginning? Orford offloading. And offloading well to Nick Scruton. Last tackle then for Bradford. 20 metres out. Will they go to this near side to Thomas's wing? No, they don't. And uh, a little chip forward from Sykes is just going to run dead. It was an agonising race. A chance for first points then. Still nothing on the board. Half a chance here for the Crusaders. Jason Chan almost to the trial line within a metre or so. Withers to Witt. Witt looking to kick again. Chips in goal. Will look to go himself and loose for a moment and then bundled over the dead ball line by Brett Carney to force a second goal line dropout for the Crusaders. Last tackle then. It'll be another kick surely from Witt. No! A dummy inside and a ball that's offloaded. Bradford a wise to it. But still the Crusaders keep coming, and still it's Chan. And now it's going to be Mellers, who's over the line, but I'm sure he hasn't got it down. Richard Silva says this is the last. What's in Matt Orford's locker? Will it come to Matt Orford? Surely it will. Here he is, a little kick to the near side. It's behind Halley. Oh, plucked out of the air by Gareth Thomas, like plucking an apple from a tree. Thomas is away. Sharif coming across. Thomas won't have the legs. Oh, he's got the sidestep, though. That was sensational from Gareth Thomas. He just weaved away from Sharif quite brilliantly. Can the Crusaders turn it into points through Michael Wick? Michael Wick scores, but you might as well call it Gareth Thomas' try. A brilliant try from Michael Wick. Crusaders lead 4-0. Bradford going round in circles, running out of tackles, just two left. Watch Matt Orford go at the sticks. Here is Orford, he does just that, he looked to burrow through himself, but now, but now the string pull of the kicker is actually playing the ball on the fifth tackle, which is a problem, it goes back to Sykes, Sykes puts a grubber in it, ricochets, Silverwood plays on, so does Paul Sykes, he can't get the uh, ball down. And Halley cannot believe it. Super League's very own Johnny Depp is on the pitch then, and the Crusaders are on the attack again. They lead 6-0. This is the final tackle. Perhaps a one-pointer at this stage of the game. And it is knocked over. Knocked over by Michael Witt. Well, he took the option three minutes before half-time. They moved two scores clear. 7-0 Crusaders. Last tackle. Oh, well, they put Dave Halley under pressure. They did with a couple yeah. of kicks early in the game. Here's Samet spinning the ball out to Witt. Witt, the commander-in-chief of this Crusaders attack. It'll land just short of the high line. Well, they've allowed, they've allowed Mellis to come out and catch that. He smuggled it away. There's a try here. Michael Witt. Michael Witt's over. Richard Silverwood, will he give it? Will he be satisfied it came free? Right. Legitimately, he is. Problems for the Bradford Bulls. Already 13 points adrift. It could be more here. They have got to hang on here. This could be the game, even though we're 27 minutes out from the final siren in this match. Again, it's Samet. Again, it's an offload from Samet. Again, it's a chance for Hambre. The whistle goes. It'll be a and high shot. Matt Orford is in a bit of trouble here. He's, he's flung himself at the Crusaders here to stop this. I mean, he's a big loss. He's a massive loss, Orford. 13 minutes left. Lestrange in dummy half. He took that bad knock early on, but he's still out there. It's a loose pass. Could be picked up by anybody. Bradford do get hold of it. Crooks gets hold of it in the end. How many times has the pass gone to ground in this second half? Four. Play on. <laughs> Play on is the call. Has well, he bounced this? Has he bounced that? Well, well, Richard Silverwood wasn't in a position to see, quite understandably, has that ball been grounded correctly did he get the ball down yes he was did. there contact between hand ball and ground what does Stuart Cummings the video ref say in this very very tricky decision oh. no try 20 oh. meter restart and with that press of the button from Stuart Cummings have Bradford's chances disappeared uh, had some big wins already they had a big win over Holler in the season but uh, this I would think would be the one that's the real feather in their cap, knocking off a Bradford team that hasn't lost in six games. Yeah, and a Bradford team coming off a great win last weekend. Brian Noble up against his former team. I think this will be a special win. And like I say, so far in this game, I know we've got about nine minutes left, but the fact that they've kept Bradford scoreless is what will give Brian Noble, I think, the most pleasure. 
Yeah, this will be his sixth win over Bradford since leaving for Pastures near at Wigan in 2006 in nine attempts. That's a pretty fair record. Knock on here from Sam. Oh, no, it's not. Brilliant hands. He managed to juggle and then collect and then kick ahead. This will be a sensational try. It is a sensational try. Jared Stammer. Well, they'll call him Jared the juggler after that. He's won the game for the Crusaders with a sublime piece of skill on his debut. Well, we've been really disappointed with the, the, what we dished up against Huddersfield last week at home and so we spoke about that and we spoke about that we were probably a better team than we're giving ourselves credit for and other people are giving us too so we you know, make a commitment to, to improving every week again and climbing the ladder rather than taking a step off, off the ladder like I thought we did last week. Everything went wrong, it was a, a really poor day for us and normally as a coach you can you know, see if we'd have done this area a little bit better we may have gone and won the game but I think today was a, 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 one of those days when we were second best in every department. Short pass 